So I am about ready to make my dip, my corn dip that I take over to our neighbor's house when we have cookouts, hangouts, barbecues, whatever the case may be. This is something that's highly, highly requested among all of our neighbors. And so I'm going to show you guys how to prepare this corn dip. The recipe is three cans of corn drained, which I have, the, I have a third one. It's just in the pantry. I just didn't get it out, but I have two cans right here. But you need three cans of corn drained, one can of Rotel, 16 ounces of sour cream, eight ounces of mayonnaise, four cups of cheese, onions to taste, and then jalapenos to taste. I never put onions in this thing. I just add the jalapenos and it still is just the best dip ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing up the ingredients. Alrighty, so the first thing that you wanna do is just drain your corn. And I just put it in a small strainer and I just make sure that all of the water is out. Oops and not losing any kernels along the way. And then I just pour it into this bowl. And then the next thing that I do is I drain my Rotel in the same container. I just drain that, make sure all the juice and stuff is out of the Rotel. Just get it nice and drained. I mean, it doesn't have to be like perfect, but you don't want it to be real soupy either. So I just kind of let this sit here a little, oops, and I don't want to lose any of my Rotel. Didn't mean to hit it that hard, but anyway. So you know, I just want to let this sit here a little bit. And while that's sitting there draining, I'm going to go ahead and add my mayonnaise and my sour cream. So you just go ahead. This is um, 16 ounces of sour cream, and that's what it calls for. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the 16 ounces of sour cream right inside here, right on top of the corn, and it comes out perfectly. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the eight ounces of the mayonnaise inside the same container, but I have to measure that out. So give me just. Okay, by now your Rotel should be completely like drained. And so you wanna just take it and just wanna pour it all over the mayonnaise and the sour cream. And then the next thing you wanna do is you want to drain your jalapenos. So I'm gonna let those sit here and drain. shake those out hopefully not to lose any and I like whole jalapenos inside this dip because each jalapeno just makes it such an awesome taste whenever you get bite into it and then you just go ahead and pour that in as well and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and put in your four cups of cheese so I'm going to go ahead and do that now and this bag is exactly four cups of cheese. So this is the perfect amount because you need four cups of cheese for this recipe. So as soon as I get this open, I'm going to pour it in. I actually need two hands for this. So now you just wanna go ahead and pour your cheese in. And I pour just a little bit of cheese in and then I start stirring it up, mixing it. And then I'll keep adding cheese as it keeps getting mixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this and it is all done it's all mixed up so there is corn dip i'm going to go ahead and leave the link or excuse me the description or the recipe in the description below i'm so sorry guys um but anyway yeah that way if you guys want to make it you can because it's awesome awesome dip to take to parties or have just sitting around for just sitting around leisurely eating some snacks and then you just want to serve it with some tostito scoops and you guys have yourself a very popular dip that everybody will like Thank you.